Happy Veterans Day, everyone. It is November 11th, 2024. It's been some time since we did a whiskey review, so how about we dive into it? Now, near the turn of the year, there was a list from Forbes for best whiskeys. Glenn Fittich Grand Cru, 23 years old, was on it. We did a video. It is right here. And then was also on the list, their 21 year. Grand Reserva. I wasn't looking forward to this. It's a rum cast finish. And it's a bit lower cost, about $300, vice $400 for this bottle. However, I tend not to like a rum finish. And I was surprised. Disappointed. Pretty bland. Good, but not as intense as I expected. This was really good. Just, I was totally thrown off. So, how do we continue this? Well, there's a third in the lineup, the final of the three. Now they have some special editions, but this right here is the Grand, how do you say that? Corone? I don't know. It's finished in cognac casks. So if we hold this up, opens just like the other two, pull it down, pop it out, and... It's got a little tasting note, what's really cool. It's got some artwork in here, but we're not here to look at the box. So we're here to taste this 26 year old Glen Fittich Grand Corone. I don't know, mock, mock the way I say it, I don't mind. But this cognac cast finish. Now I've had a few cognac cast finish scotches. They've not impressed me, but I'm hoping to be pleasantly surprised. So let's open this up. It's got a uh, typical metal, tin seal over the cap. I'm really interested to see the cork where this Grand Cru was like a brass cork and then we had some wood with a brass inset for the Reserva. Let's check this one out here. Ooh, definitely metal, little shiny, little more glam on this one here. I like that, I like that. So let's just get it up to the camera. It's a, it's a pretty bottle. It's got some nice etching on there, uh, like a screen print. And then for the cap, it's, well, actually, I think it's plastic. I don't know. But let's pop it. Ooh. Oh, that sounded good. Yeah, it's plastic. This is cheaper than the first two. Way more expensive. This is a $700 bottle with a plastic cap, vice metal and wooden metal. Oh, wow. It's got a wine scent to it on the nose. We have our trusty Glencairn glass here, but... It smells amazing. I'm gonna move all the bottles so we have them kind of stationed here. Maybe in order. I don't know, how can we get this? Let's get it looking good. There we go. There we go. We have the three bottles here. Okay. It smells amazing. It smells, it smells floral, sweet. Mm. I just want to stick my nose in it. So with the, the least expensive of the three, the 21 year old, this is 40% alcohol. The Grand Cru, the 23 year old, 40% alcohol. Now, the most expensive, the $700 one, 43.8%. To me, that means something. I'm wondering if this is even cast strength. Granted, it's a vatted release, but cognac finish. All right, let's get to the tasting. It's had plenty of time to air. Beautiful color on that. I, I don't think that came from anything other than, I hope it's not color added. So let's just assume it's all natural. Very mild on the initial palate. Not not much, not much there initially. The finish is phenomenal. It's going on a long time, new flavors open up. I don't even know how to describe this. It's so mild on the initial taste, but there's so much there. There's a lot of work going on in my tongue right now with this finish. So, whoo. It's still there. It's still there. It's still finishing, still finishing. I don't know. Did I do something wrong? I don't think so. I think this is good. 
I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't think this is a whiskey initially. I don't, I don't know what to say right now. It's maybe this is what a cognac finish does to a scotch. It's so mild. It's fruity. This tastes good, but it, there's some texture to it. It's almost like I'm getting particles on my tongue or some kind of powder on my tongue. It's nothing wrong with it. It's just got a different texture than a, a scotch all around that I'm used to. So I like it. I don't really know how to rate this. It's good. It's, it's enjoyable. If I had to make a choice between the three, I think, I think the least expensive of the options is, that's on top right now. I'm gonna pour all three, do another comparison in a different setting. But this is a beautiful bottle. It'll look amazing anywhere you put it. I'm thoroughly surprised at the plastic cap, placed the metal cap, and then the wood and metal cap. Yeah. Um, but it looks good. It looks good. Definitely a different, different kind of scotch here. Not bad. I'd say it's good. I don't know if I would deem it great yet. I think I just need to sit with this for a while. Let it breathe. Keep tasting it. Um, here's the difference. Maybe I just didn't find it in the other ones, but it has some tasting notes on this. A rich and regal 26-year-old whiskey matured in American and European oak cast, finished for an extended time in rare, meticulously sele selected French cognac cast. Taste, sweet toasted oak, yes. A delicate scent of, I don't know what that is. The air, the cafe creme, brown sugar, spice dancing have a drop. I would say that. It, it definitely has kind of a dessert taste to it. There's such a unique texture on this. I, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. However, for twice the price of this, and for more than twice the price of this, is it worth it? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. I, I wouldn't say this is a 20, as a 26 year old, it's a phenomenal scotch. As a $700 bottle, I'd say, no, no, it's not a $700 bottle. You're better off going with an independent bottle or almost always. But of the three, I'm still going with the rum cask finish. Blew me away. Maybe that's why it didn't land on Forbes top 10 whiskeys of the year, best whiskey of the year. Either way, I think this is a great addition to any bar. They're beautiful bottles, completely different finishes. I don't think the age has much to do with it, more so than the finished cask, where we have Cuvée, a wine cast finish, rum, and now cognac. So we have wine and two different types of spirits as a finished cask on these three Glenfiddich, going in from 21 to 23 to 26 years old. And the more I sit with this, the more I like it. This is definitely a sipper, a sit and think scotch. I need to really digest this a little bit more. And I think the real interesting video will be the three of these, randomized. And I'm gonna bring along someone special who has an excellent palate, an excellent nose, but is not a scotch aficionado, just likes good things and can smell amazing, sense and describe things better than me. So cheers, happy Veterans Day again. And should you see this at the bar, I would say this is definitely worth a $50 drink. So spending $50 for a pour of this, I'd say that's a pretty good deal. For a $700 bottle, that's a deal in itself. I don't think you'll find it for that inexpensive or that low cost. $50 is a lot of money, but I think it's worth the shot to try it. Specifically for that texture. Oh my God, the texture on this. Mm. Mm. Cheers. Wait. Whispering Waters is in stock at thewhiskeylab.com. We now have four releases. Two new ones showed up today. I have some more product photos going on, but you can see our first four releases right here. Two single grains. A lot of scotch drinkers do not like single grains or think they're kind of low key. Two single malts, both sherry cask and enhanced. One finished, one matured. The beauty of our single grains is they're phenomenal. They're not just like a typical single grain, low quality. Uh, not low quality, low taste. There's a massive amount of taste in these single grains. That's why we selected them. That's why we bought them. Check it out now, thewhiskeylab.com.